Commoners presents Solar Power. Rain or shine, future solar panels may be able to generate power. Scientists in China are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source you'd expect when we're talking about solar energy, rainwater. In a typical solar panel, photons from a light source knock electrons free from atoms within the panel, and the action generates a flow of electricity. Although solar power technology has been getting increasingly efficient, there is still the tiny problem that solar cells can't produce any power when it's raining. Researchers are introducing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene or carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye-sensitized solar cells. A flexible layer of indium-10 oxide and plastic is included underneath. Graphene has unusual properties that allow electrons to move freely throughout the entire layer. Rainwater contains positively charged ions like ammonium, calcium, and sodium. When water binds to the panel surface, a double layer of positive ions and negatively charged electrons is created, which ends up producing a voltage and current. Tests of the new solar panels have been able to produce hundreds of microvolts, which is small even compared to a standard AA battery. So there's a long way to go before the new solar panels become more widely used, but more efficient future versions could mean big things for the solar industry. China powers on world's largest floating solar farm. China just flipped the on switch on their latest green energy project. A new floating solar farm constructed on a lake in Huainan City in central China is said to be the largest in the world. It is made up of 160,000 solar panels. These panels can produce electricity for up to 15,000 homes. The farm is connected to a city where some 2.5 million people reside. The panels are placed at varying depths over the lake. The water helps cool the electronics in the devices and stops them from overheating. Solar energy, like wind, is sporadic and environmentally dependent, meaning the amount of power panels can gather may sometimes fluctuate depending on the weather. Tesla gets into the home energy game. Tesla has unveiled a solar roof product that doesn't distract from the aesthetics of a home, as they look just like ordinary tiles. Each Tesla roof tile is made up of a solar cell, quartz glass, and a color louver film that makes it appear opaque from an angle. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the tiles have 98% of the efficiency of traditional solar panels. However, the tiles have the potential to go above normal efficiency if improved coatings can trap light inside to reduce loss of energy. Tesla sees the solar roofs working in tandem with its Powerwall battery unit to provide energy for homes and its electric vehicles. Tesla unveiled four types of solar tile during a launch event at the Desperate Housewives set at Universal Studios last Friday. The tiles will be available next year through Solar City, a solar installation company chaired by Elon Musk, which he's trying to merge with Tesla. Musk didn't reveal any specific prices, but said the Tesla panels would cost less than the full cost of a roof, with the added benefit of being able to generate electricity. Dragonflies can be used to spy on you. Scientists have created a technology that can turn flying insects into surveillance drones. The technology makes use of a tiny backpack equipped with solar power and navigation systems. The backpack is fitted onto a dragonfly and commands the insect with optogenetics, a biological technique that uses light to control the steering neurons inside the insect's nerve cord. Dragonflies can then be turned into tiny surveillance systems. The same setup can be applied to other insects of a similar size, such as honeybees. Other applications of this technology may include guided pollination, payload delivery, and precision medicine and diagnostics. The Great American Eclipse will cause massive energy loss. The eclipse is just around the corner, and while many are excited, the astronomical event will also lead to a gigantic dip in solar energy production. The Great American Eclipse may cause a loss in solar energy production enough to power some 7 million homes. According to U.S. government data, California provides 40% of the solar energy in the U.S. The state will see its solar power generation capacity reduced by 70% between 9.02 a.m. and 11.54 a.m. local time on the day of the eclipse. To fill the power gap during this time, solar-reliant grids may turn to natural gas or hydro plants for energy. 
The eclipse is set to take place on August 21st, 2017 in the U.S. France planning to pave roads with solar panels. The French government is set to go ahead with energy plans to pave 1,000 kilometers of its country's roads with solar panels. France's energy minister, Ségolène Royal, made the announcement last month, saying she expects tests to begin as soon as this spring. The panels are made by Cola, a subsidiary of French industrial giant Bouygues, and took five years to develop. These 7mm thick wattway solar panels contain photovoltaic cells, which collect solar energy through a thin layer of polycrystalline silicon. The panels will be glued to existing road surfaces and can withstand the passage of heavy goods vehicles. The manufacturers say road surfaces are occupied by vehicles only around 10% of the time, so the panels will get plenty of exposure to the sun. The panels can provide electricity for street lights, street furniture, road signs, and buildings. The manufacturers say 4 meters of solarized road can power one household, and one kilometer can produce enough electricity for a town of 5,000 people. If it reaches its maximum potential, the plan could provide electricity for 5 million people, or about 8% of France's population. The cost of the project is unknown, but the French government has suggested it could pay for it by raising taxes on petrol. Last year, the world's first road to convert sunlight into electricity opened on a 100-meter stretch of carriageway in the Netherlands. A new way of getting power from the sun. Researchers in Britain have developed a new type of technology that can help buildings to harvest solar power in addition to the power generated by rooftop solar panels. Solar squared glass blocks contain a layer of small solar cells. The intelligent optics of the blocks focus incoming sunlight onto the solar cells when placed vertically. The blocks can be linked and wired to one another, generating power for buildings and electric vehicles or to be stored in batteries. These blocks can be embedded in conventional construction designs. Tinting can also be added to prevent too much sunlight from entering the building's interior. Researchers say the blocks also offer better thermal insulation than traditional glass building materials. Startup company Build Solar, which developed this project, is looking for test sites for this technology. A finished product is expected to be available next year. Dutch University aims to use solar panels as highway noise barriers. Eindhoven University of Technology is developing solar panels that could be used to accomplish goals beyond electricity generation, such as acting as noise barriers along highways. A practical test is being run along the Netherlands' A2 highway, one of the nation's busiest, near the city of Den Bosch. Sound barriers with incorporated LSCs, or luminescent solar concentrators, can absorb sunlight by using transparent dye plastic sheets which then emit in direct concentrated radiation along solar cells hidden inside the frames. The LSCs can come in a variety of colors making highways more visually appealing. The current test features only two noise barriers which measure 4.5 meters high by 5 meters wide. A single kilometer of barriers could generate enough electricity to power 50 households. The two sets of panels will stay alongside the A2 highway until early summer of 2016, as a full year of testing is crucial in order to verify the durability and performance of the panels under all weather conditions. Quantum dot coating can turn windows into solar panels. Researchers at the Los Alamos National Laboratory in New Mexico have developed a film of quantum dots that can turn windows into photovoltaic systems. When sunlight hits conventional silicon solar panels, electrons break free of the top layer of semiconducting material. The electrons then follow conductors between the positive and negative sides of the panel to generate an electrical current. Quantum dots, which have an inner core, an outer shell, and a silica coat, can be used as semiconductors. Quantum dots can be spread into thin sheets that are placed onto glass window panes. When photons from sunlight hit a quantum dot, it excites the electron in the valence band and sends it into the conduction band, leaving a hole behind. When the electron recombines with the hole in the valence band, a new photon with lower energy is generated. This new photon then propagates within the glass via internal reflections. Energy is generated when the propagating photons reach the window's frame where solar cells are stored. Coatings of quantum dots can be used on any window to turn them into harvesters of sunlight at lower cost than is currently available. 
Los Alamos-based startup Ubiquitous Quantum Dots has received a $225,000 U.S. dollar grant from the National Science Foundation to commercialize this technology as a coating on windows. New solar sunglasses harvest solar power. Researchers in Germany have successfully developed a pair of sunglasses that can generate power. The sunglasses contain organic solar cells, which are flexible and can be made into a variety of shapes and colors. The frames are also equipped with electronics, including a microprocessor, two sensors, and two displays. The solar power captured by the lenses are used to run the electronics, which measure current illumination intensity and ambient temperatures that are displayed on bar graphs. The lenses can generate about 200 milliwatts of excess power, which is enough to run devices such as a step counter, hearing aid, or a small speaker. The solar sunglasses work best in direct sunlight, but they can also work in dimmer lighting environments, such as inside homes or at the office. The researchers say the technology could be applied to the glass facades of high-rise buildings. Such a large surface area would enable the new solar cells to generate significantly more power. North Carolina town fears solar farm will suck up all the sun's energy. A North Carolina town has rejected a proposal to allow a solar farm to be constructed after residents expressed fears the panels would suck away sunlight from the town. Solar companies are looking to the town of Woodland because it's located near an electrical substation where power generated from panels could be fed into the grid. During the public comment period before the rezoning vote was held, town residents voiced their distrust and fear of solar panels. June Mann, a retired Northampton science teacher, is worried that vegetation near the proposed solar panels won't get enough light for photosynthesis. Mann also said she was worried about the high number of cancer deaths in the area, saying no one could tell her that solar panels didn't cause cancer. Bobby Mann said the solar farms would suck up all the energy from the sun and businesses would not come to Woodland. The solar company then attempted to address the council and audience, but that didn't go so well. The council voted three to one against the rezoning and later voted for a moratorium on future solar farms. Endless energy with one coat of paint. Researchers from the Royal Melbourne Institute of Technology have invented a novel new paint that can turn surfaces into a hydrogen power generator. Synthetic molybdenum sulfide is a newly developed compound that absorbs moisture and accelerates the splitting of water molecules. When mixed with titanium oxide in paint, the resulting substance is able to produce hydrogen energy from sunlight and water vapor. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest sources of energy and can be used to power vehicles and equipment. The solar paint can generate hydrogen energy in remote locations or hot and dry climates, so long as there is sunlight and moisture in the air. Researchers believe it will take at least five years to come up with the final product, but they're confident that it will be cheap and accessible. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. The world certainly needs more clean and green sources of Solar window blinds can block and harvest sunlight. A California startup has designed window blinds with solar panels that can block out sunlight while harvesting solar energy from it. Each slat in solar window blinds is equipped with monocrystalline solar panels, which can harvest solar energy. The blinds can also track the path of the sun's position and automatically change the angle of the slats to optimize its absorption of sunlight. The company claims the blinds are able to generate up to 100 watt-hours of energy for every square meter when mounted on the outside of a window, or half that amount when mounted inside. Although the slats can automatically change their angles, the blinds can also be manually controlled via an app. The company is hoping to raise $50,000 from Kickstarter in order to mass-produce the solar window blinds. This South African airport is powered by the sun. South Africa gets a lot of sun, so much so that the country is investing in solar-powered airports and already has one that's fully operational. George Airport in southern South Africa last year became powered entirely by solar energy. According to AFP, this move lowered its carbon dioxide emissions by more than a thousand tons. The hub runs on energy garnered by some 2,000 solar panels. 
These power everything from the ATMs and restaurants to the check-in desk and airport control tower. Excess energy is transferred to nearby homes on a local power grid. South Africa is already working on two other solar-powered airports elsewhere in the country. The airport is Africa's first to run on solar energy alone and one of only two in the world. 